Tuesday. We're gonna try this. It's December. I'm a knitter. I can't not do it. I have to do it. I gotta do it. We're gonna do it. I'm working with my set in sleeve crew neck sweater pattern. There's a link in the description. I made a gauge swatch. I plugged everything into the pattern just to get an idea of the area that I had to work with on this design. I made a tutorial about how to create images and scale them appropriately for your gauge in my intermediate intarsia video. There's a link in the description. This is just a speed run of the process. I was very careful to make sure that the edges lined up so that I can just do stripes on the back and on the sleeves. And then I have my script that breaks down these images into usable patterns. The first thing that it does is tell me how many cakes of each color yarn I need so that I can wind those off. And then it gives me line by line instructions of where the different colors go. We start with the ribbing like normal, and then I pull the ribber off so that I can see what I'm working with. I'm using a KA2600 Intarsia carriage on my Brother 270 bulky knitting machine. My script is telling me how to place the yarn on every row, but the yarn easily gets tangled in a piece that's complicated. <laughs> Going back to the main carriage for the shoulders, I've got a detailed tutorial for this pattern that I've linked in the description. I have a bunch of these little holes where I joined new yarn, but they are easy to fix. Here's a minor mistake where I grabbed the wrong color green. I'm gonna fix it with a duplicate stitch. Twelve hours later, all of the ends are woven in. <laughs> The back is knit exactly as specified by the pattern, with stripes instead of an intarsia pattern. The neckline is one inch of ribbing, but I found on my bulky that I needed to knit one row of plain knitting before I could start the ribbing. This is my standard stretchy bind off. And then we make some sleeves.
It's missing something. This is I cord. Knit one direction and slip in the other. better, but it's still missing something. Almost there. Get better, but I think I got one more thing to add. Here's the sweater. It's just as obnoxious as I hoped it would be. It's beautiful. It's everything I have ever wanted in an ugly Christmas sweater. The only thing that I'm not happy about is that you can't actually tell the difference between the cream and the white that I put so much effort into making like hill stuff on the bottom. But it's not the end of the world. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Happy whatever you're celebrating this winter. I hope you stay warm. And happy knitting. Debug the Christmas tree.